I was going to do a video for Maddie's solo b-roll challenge and so I went out Monday afternoon got the b-roll I was gonna edit it and upload it Monday night and then I rewatched the video and realized that he said Sunday night was the contest ending so unfortunately I missed that so I'm gonna put my entry into Maddie's solo b-roll challenge at the end of this video But today I wanted to talk to you about some practical tips that I use to seem more natural and less awkward when I'm making these vlogs. And just so you know, I'm not like a natural on camera and I actually employ these tips in order to make myself seem less awkward than I feel. First of all, don't look at the screen. Now you're probably like, Job, are you kidding me? I mean, I have to look at the screen. I need to know that I'm framed right. I need to know that my exposure is correct. And really, yes, my answer is absolutely don't look at the screen. If you have to look at the screen to make sure of your framing or your exposure, don't look at it while you're talking to the camera. Take a break, put a smash cut in there, look at the screen, and then look back at the lens. Now, I know that's easier said than done, but I actually have a few tips that'll help you to concentrate on the lens as opposed to the screen. I need my skateboard. Who's up for some super slow motion of some water? I really wish the M50 had 1080p slow motion. And two of my subs were like, dude, just give us the information already. Quit it with the B-roll. Don't worry, we'll get to that. First of all, I would say you have to be more self-conscious. Now, not self-conscious of yourself while you're on your camera, not self-conscious of yourself on the screen, but think about the edit and think about it when you go back into your editing program what is it going to look like? And that really helps me when I'm thinking about looking at the lens as opposed to the screen. You see, if I'm visualizing myself in my editing program, then I'm not thinking about how I look on this screen. I'm thinking about how I look on that screen. And I know that being a little out of frame and being a little under or overexposed is not as bad as sitting here looking at the screen the entire time. So that's my first tip is think about your edit. Think about you when you're back in your editing program and that's what I mean by being more self-conscious not being self-conscious of how you look right now next I think of you guys the people watching this my friends from church Jimmy Olsen eyesight build all of you guys who are constantly watching my videos I mean thinking about all of you who are going to watch this video and thinking of you through the lens and not through the screen, because I know you're not standing here with me, but I know what you're gonna see. And I will actually go back and watch my old videos and think about them while I'm doing a vlog and think about seeing myself. I'm thinking of myself, like I said a minute ago, through the editing program, what you guys see, because I want this footage to look really good when I get back into the editing program. And that's why I look at the lens. It's not even an option for me to look at the screen while I'm vlogging. I just look at the lens and if I mess up and I don't look at the lens, smash cut, redo the take looking at the lens. It looks better having lots of smash cuts than looking at the screen. And my last tip is just practice, 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 practice. You're going to get better and better as you do it. You're gonna be able to make amazing content and you will over time get better and better at looking at the lens and not at the screen. But practice at it. And when you find yourself taking lots of retakes because you accidentally looked at the screen, eventually it'll stick in your mind so much, look at the lens, not at the screen, look at the lens, not at the screen, you'll eventually stop. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the like button if you did, subscribe to the channel. And now, Maddie, this is my entry, though you probably will never see it. This was going to be my entry into your solo B-roll challenge until I realized the challenge was already over. But wait, there's one more thing. 
you're just, you're gonna do a great job. Keep that in mind. You're not going to fail. You're not going to have a video that looks horrible. You're going to have a video that looks great. You're going to be really proud of it. And you know, if you messed up on anything, there's always next time. And you're going to be more proud of your next video than your last one. And that's it.